Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to Unlimited Color TV. I'm your host, Alexis Monet. Before we get started, make sure you all hit that like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, everyone. So we all know Lizzo did drop an album a few months back called Special, and Lizzo is currently on tour and has been performing her album. Now, in one of Lizzo's most recent shows, she did show love to Nicki Minaj, which Lizzo has showed love to Nicki Minaj before, but a lot of people think that there might be a collaboration coming soon due to Lizzo rapping Nicki Minaj's lyrics to Monster and she also made it very clear that she is a Nicki Minaj fan. And if you did miss the video, I do have a clip, so take a listen. Now I can't play the full video because Lizzo is rapping the lyrics to Nicki Minaj's verse to Monster, but we all know the iconic verse, so you get it. And as I did mention before in the video, this is not the first time Lizzo has shown love to Nicki Minaj in public. And honestly, in my opinion, I really would not be opposed to Nicki and Lizzo working on a single together. We all know Lizzo is more so of a pop artist and we all know Nicki has dabbled in pop music before, slayed and dominated, so I wouldn't be surprised if Nicki worked with Lizzo. We'll just have to wait and see. Now moving on to the next topic. Now we all know a few days ago Nicki Minaj was active on Twitter and she did check and shade a few people and when she ended her tweets for that day she did come out and say that she was hacked. However, it does seem like today Nikki really got hacked and she wasn't joking like she was a couple of days ago. And apparently someone hacked into Nicki Minaj's email account. Nikki did go on to post this, you gonna get what you asking for this time. IP daddy on deck, Addy on deck. Nikki wasn't done, Nikki says she is not playing around, she got the Addy, she got the IP team on deck. Nikki also went on to say this, hacking accounts just to sit that butt in jail, looking at your whole house, post them, child. Now, whoever it is, it seems like Nicki Minaj got the location and she does have her team looking into it. And whoever this person is who decided to be foolish and hack her emails, didn't really think this through and it seemed like a bad idea because Nikki found you and it seems like you will be charged. Nikki did just say a few days ago, this is not the year to be playing with Onika Tanya Mirage Petty. So if you keep messing around, you're gonna find out. Now moving on to the next topic. Now we all know Ice Spice is the new it girl and she's out here bubbling. And we all know when there's a new girl in town, there will come some haters and people feel like Lotto has been hating on Ice Spice. And most recently, a lot of people felt like Lotto was throwing shade and subbing Ice Spice on Twitter. And Ice Spice did go onto her Twitter account and said this, Bees ain't taking nothing from me but notes. Then a few hours later, Lotto went onto her Twitter account to say this, B word scared, ain't taking nothing. So it does look like Lotto was subbing Ice Spice because it did seem a little weird that she would tweet that the same day and a few hours later after Ice Spice tweeted that. Now it could be a coincidence, but there might really be something going on and there might be some tension and some underlying beef there. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens with the girls. Now moving on to the last topic. Now we all know Erica Banks is signed to 1501. She is a good female rapper and she has been dropping freestyle. And we all know she has been heavily compared to Megan Thee Stallion, who is also her label mate. And people have always assumed that Erica and Megan do have beef because of their messy label owner. And she did show love to Megan in her most recent interview with Megan James. And she did have some very interesting answers when it came to other female rappers. So if you didn't hear the clip, take a listen. Tell us who the better rapper is and why. Okay. Okay. So first we have Lotto or Rini Rucci. <laughs> Rennie Ruchi. Um, Meg or Cardi? I can't, I can't pick both. <laughs> uh-uh, it's, 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 it's this mean, or that. This or that. Ah, damn, ah. But you know, I want to say something, not just like better rapper, I think just like your preference, like their vibe. I think you take other things into For me, it's better rapper because really? like some of these like rap, like the rap girls, some of them not like rap geniuses, like some of them are just like, like they're like Instagram or like TikTok artists. Sure. Mm. So like, who's a better rapper? Period. If we're going music, I'm gonna say Megan. 
Now, I did find it interesting that Erica didn't choose Lotto. However, she did choose Lotto's rival, Rene Rucci. And she didn't go with Cardi B. She did pick Megan Thee Stallion because we all know Megan has the bars and is the better rapper. So I thought it was dope and pretty cool that Erica kept it real and was honest with her answers and was like, yeah, Megan is the better rapper. I'ma go with her. But you let me know how you feel about these topics down below. Thanks again for joining me for another video and until next time, bye!